<laughs> Hello friends, this is Govan here. Welcome to my new channel, Govan Kilgore. The name that I've chosen to change my name to. Technically it's not that big of a change because Govan has been my middle name since birth. Uh, it was my father's, or it is my father's middle name and was my grandfather's middle name and he took it on as his first name at a certain point in his life. So there's a couple main reasons I've decided to make this choice. Probably the biggest factor is that with the direction I'm going in really stepping up the level of my devotion to online video, uh, I want to have a name that is simple and stands out. Yes, Zach is a great name. <laughs> I'm not I don't dislike it or I didn't feel there's a negative connotation to it, uh, but it's largely the last name that for me was an issue with the hyphen and uh, I love both my parents equally by all means, that hyphen has been a big irritation of mine <laughs> whenever it comes to telling people my name, full name, or anything of that matter. And Zach Kilgore with the two hard consonants at the end of the name and the start of the next one just, for me, didn't vibe that well. So when and if I legally change my name, I'll be probably just sticking the Zach and the Martin to the middle. Uh, my brother did something similar when he he changed his name around. He added Martin to part of his middle name and just goes by Kilgore legally. So while I don't aspire to be some specific type of personality out there, when you look at anyone in the limelight in, as a public outspoken person, they often do change their name to something, whether it's, I'm just going to use a few examples here, Daniel Vitalis. Perhaps that was his real last name from birth, but I have a suspicion that it isn't his given surname from birth. Uh, if it is, my apologies, Daniel. And uh, you look at any other celebrity, another one that comes to mind is Peter Ragnar. Maybe that was his real last name too, and again, if that is your last name, I'm not trying to put a negative connotation with the choice of changing your name because obviously I've just changed my name but you can kind of see when people have done this and yes there are people that just have uncommon names or last names out there and they just it just seems to sound right it's always struck me as odd when parents choose to name their kid the types of names they choose and there's all these names that are extremely common I've never had a kid and never had the opportunity to name a child so it's not something I've had to face and make that decision, but I thought about that before and kind of looked through different names and just thought, there's so many cool names out there, why do people choose these sort of very conventional names? And that's not to put down conventional names. It's just, uh, it's just odd how there are names that are extremely popular. Um, and Zach, at the time that I, my, my parents gave that name to me, and I was named after Zachary Richard, the... New Orleans musician, if you, anyone's ever heard of him, uh, they were doing it thinking that it was a very unique name and there was a lot of Zachs and Zacharies that were uh, named at that time period and while it's not the most common name, there are a lot of people with that name. But again, that's not even a reason why I've chosen to change it to Govan. Another reason is something that I'm not going to totally get into that depth, but I do have plans for something very big and the name fits and suits that uh, project very well. It's very old-fashioned sounding and there's going to be sort of an old-fashioned element to this project and that could be even a whole year before that starts coming down the pipe. I'm not entirely sure, just starting the beginnings of that, but you'll of course hear more about it in time. And I guess part of me also just feels like it's a tribute to my grandfather who's passed away in the early part of the century. I believe it was in 2000, probably the November of that year. And I didn't know him that well because he lived way out on the west coast in BC, uh, but he was always a figure in my mind and continues to be to this day and uh, an inspiration. So those are some of the reasons I've chosen to make this change. I understand people are not going to totally warm up to it perhaps at first, or at least not everyone is. Even some people in my personal life that I've talked to about this, they're like a little shocked by it. And the funny thing is, is actually in my family, virtually everyone, or at least on my dad's side of the family, virtually everyone has changed their name at some point. My grandfather took on the Govan, his wife 
changed her first name uh, to something fairly similar, but it just was something that she felt um, suited her better. Then my, all my dad's sisters have actually changed either their last name or their first name. And I don't just mean by getting married and changing your last name, but changing it to something else entirely. Uh, and then, or the one sister actually took her middle name and put it as her first name. Another one joined an ashram and changed it to an Indian name, her first name. So it's all very interesting. I guess I'm just taking up the family tradition of changing names. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing people's reaction and getting to know what it feels like to take on a different name. I've already started to notice those people that do call me Zach, even just saying it now, it already feels different and not right. So I just literally woke up, not today, but the day before, and just had it set in my mind, I'm no longer Zach. From now on, I'm Gavin Kilgore. Uh, so it was a very funny thing. I'd been, again, thinking about it for a long time, but I just woke up and decided this is it. There's a time to do it. And another factor in that is that all these social media things that I've been setting up, pages on Facebook, all this other stuff, I really wanted to simplify it down, even though it might seem complicated and convoluted to some people at the moment. I'm just basically going to have one Facebook page, which I'll link to below, which uh, it's not a page, actually. It's a profile. Uh, and that is, you can see it down here, facebook.com slash Gavin Kilgore. And that's just for simplicity's sake. It's a profile, not a page. Yes, there's a limit to 5,000 people on there, but at a certain point, people just become subscribers, which is essentially turning a profile into a page. And I was trying to combine a profile with a page, the Zach MK and Zach Martin Kilgore, and that was being confusing for people. And with this, it's just a profile, the long secrets of longevity Facebook page. And then I'll have one other Facebook page for this project that's um, sort of down the road that I've been talking about, which I'm not going to get into here. Then, of course, there's other uh, things and systems like Twitter. I'm going to be dropping some uh, Twitter accounts that were related to that. And also there's the occult spirit thing that uh, I mentioned in the other video on the Secrets of Longevity page, uh, YouTube channel that I'm dropping that project. That's not something I'm going to continue. Anything that's sort of within that realm that I was going to be making will just be uh, thrown into the Secrets of Longevity uh, page, or I'll just do a vlog about something if it doesn't fit into the health spectrum. Um, so hopefully that'll be something everyone's interested in. One other thing is that I am going to leave up all the videos, of course, on the Zach Martin Kilgore channel just because there's a lot of views there, there's some good content there, and it's just a tome to my history online. So with that, rate the video and let me know in the comments below just your thoughts on anything. Have you ever changed your name? What do you think of people that change their names in some point in their lives? Do you think there's uh, something bad about that? You should just keep the name you're given at birth or is it something that you find totally acceptable? So with that, thanks for watching.